Hey guys, so we've been having some trouble with this electric toilet. That lid there keeps coming loose, like it's going to fall off. So there seemed to be something wrong. So we've got the unskilled toilet mechanic who's never pulled apart an electric toilet in his life. So not really sure what to do. Put a really old towel across the toilet there just so that no bits got dropped in the toilet. Turn the electricity off first, of course, knowing that there's electricity and water inside this thing. So it was a fairly, fairly nervous, unskilled toilet fixer because never done it before and not quite sure what we're going to come across. Or the big fear always is, of course, can you get it back together? Because. <laughs> Because it was all working, it was just the lid that was the problem. So we've had that sort of thing before. You pull something apart because it's got a small problem, and if you're not careful, you'll end up creating a bigger problem, <laughs> which would be a thing. These things aren't cheap. The cheapest ones are about probably five hundred dollars, something like that, and they go up to fifteen hundred dollars. So they're pretty expensive units. How complex is this? It got scarier and scarier. <laughs> it's like, oh no, look at this. Look in here. So you can see a bit of black stuff there. It seems that the little slow closer that is the problem, somehow the cap came off it. It, it must have had some piece that held the cap on and the caps come off it and it would have had black silicon grease inside it and that's gone everywhere so that's what that messy black stuff is all over the place so the plan is to sort of clean that up a bit and then try and get this soft closer thing out but of course not no idea what we're really doing here so there's random little pieces here all over the place including a couple that had actually fallen down in amongst the other bits so I was like, oh yeah, what's this? So it's a bit of a puzzle. How's this go? Uh, it probably goes like that. And that one probably goes there. Okay. <laughs> so clean them up a bit. That seems about right. A lot of stuff's like this when you do this. Some people ask occasionally on these videos, how do you know what to do? Well, don't really know what to do at all. It's sort of looking at it there's a lot of looking at it goes on that's why these videos are sped up because there's a lot of looking at it that goes on how does this work oh yeah so that silvery bit controls the the seat closing because the seat's heated so it's really heavy so that silvery bit c controls that closing and the white plastic bit controls the lid closing So that's the other scary thing. The right side of that seat actually had electrical wires going in it for the seat heater. So out to the workshop and a bit of an experiment with trying to work out how it works. And there's a piece missing. So that white cap that goes on the end was obviously held in with some sort of clip and we just searched everywhere, couldn't find it. So this is the silicon grease. So no, never used this before, so no idea how to use this, just like silicon. So the idea is to fill up that little compartment in there with the silicon grease. That slows down the lid coming down and the seat coming down. So fill it up, fill it up pretty tightly with that. And found all the bits except whatever held that white cap on. No idea what held that cap on. Must have been some sort of clip, but just couldn't find it unless it's fallen in the toilet and got washed away at some stage. So I just experimented with it. It didn't seem to be under any massive pressure. So I decided that some bubble wrap and a cable tie might do it. And experimented with that, and it did do it. It did seem to work pretty well. So there was a bit of a lip there that held the cable tie from slipping off. So that seemed to work pretty well. So try that. Didn't want to use anything metal or anything. There wasn't really much room for anything thicker than that either. So I was like, yeah, right, that fits and everything moves. 
reasonably well. So carefully putting it back together. See lots of screws and bits, that's what that old towel's for. And yep, so that seems to work. There's a controller there that controls the water pressure for the for the washlet thing. So getting the cap on that was important. Put the seat on, make sure that still works properly. Yeah, that works. Nice. Just give it a bit of a clean up. So it wasn't too bad. It was pretty scary. <laughs> Anything like that that a person hasn't done before can be a little bit a little bit intimidating, can't it? Oh, there was that sticker thing there telling you don't wash your hamsters in the toilet, all those sorts of things that those stickers say, but it was just horrible, so that had to go. So I took that off and just gave a bit of a cleaning to all the bits we can't normally get at. And then all that, the towel and all the other bits all got thrown in the rubbish. Get rid of all that, clean it all up. Not a favourite job. Wouldn't like to do that for a living. That's not fun. <laughs> but the result was good. The result was good. And much cheaper than calling up a real plumber would have cost uh, a fortune. So anyway, it's done. More videos coming soon.